Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on RxJS. In the previous video we have seen how to create an observable using interval function. In this video we are going to make use of merge operator. Now merge is a very special operator. With the help of merge you can combine multiple observables and subscribe to them as if they are one single observable. So as you can see on my screen we are already inside visual studio code and i have written a function called as create merge observable now inside this function we are going to create our merge observable now before getting started with the code let me show you the screen so i'll just switch back to chrome here is what we have we have a simple label which says merge and then next to that we have a text area inside this text area we are going to populate certain values now this may not make sense to you but bear with me for a few seconds so i'll just go back to visual studio code and we are going to create two interval observables so let me just create const interval a and if you remember we need to call interval function in order to create the interval observable to this we are going to pass a value as 1500 so after every 1.5 seconds we are going to emit a value and we are just going to take first five values so we are going to use pipe as an operator and we'll say that we just want first five values Next, we are going to create another interval. Let's call it as interval B. And again, we are going to call the interval function, but this time I'm going to pass a value as 1000. And similarly, we are going to take only first five values. So we'll just say take five. That's it. We are done with the creation of two intervals. Now we are going to merge this interval using the merge operator. So simply pass interval A, comma interval B. This will merge both of this interval but as i said we need to subscribe to this observable so we'll just call a subscribe method inside this we'll get the value and this value we're going to append it to our text area so simply call this dot input field dot native element dot value plus is equal to we are going to append the values so we need to use plus equal to operator that's all let me just save the file and if we'll just go back to the Chrome browser, you will see that the values are getting appended. Now there is a problem. We are not able to visualize which value is emitted by interval A or whether it is emitted by an interval B. In order to do that, you guessed it right. We can just change the values using the map function. So we'll just call the map to. This time we are just going to say that the interval A is emitting value as interval A and interval B is emitting a value as interval B. I guess that will make more sense. Also let's append a new line character so it will be quite readable. I will just save the content and this time you will see that the values are getting printed. Now if you notice carefully, you will see that the value of interval B is getting printed first, then the value of interval A is coming, then again the value of interval B, then the value of interval A, and the next time interval B is getting printed twice, and the reason is because of the duration that we have passed to the interval. So our interval A is emitting a value only after 1.5 seconds, while interval B is emitting a value after every second. So you can realize that whichever interval emits a value first, that value gets emitted and it is made available to our subscribe function. So that's the beauty of the merge function. In fact, this merge is very useful in order to create a smart counter. And that's what we are going to design in our next episode. Till then, take care and build something.